Well, good morning. Today's Tuesday, June 30th. Wait, another month is gone? Half of the year is gone? It doesn't seem possible that this is the last day of June and that half of 2020 is already passed. It has certainly been an unusual six months, to say the least. And July starts tomorrow. This is the last week of these recorded devotions. In early March, I made a commitment to do them until we began meeting back together for our regular Bible studies. While they've been time-consuming, I've enjoyed this time with you. I know that while time passes, the word of the Lord endures forever. Time. You know, it's irretrievable. You can never repeat it. There's no instant replay. C.S. Lewis wrote, there's a legend about Satan and his demons, demons planning the strategy, strategy to stop the gospel. One demon said, I have the master plan. We will tell the people that there's no heaven. The devil responded with, they won't believe that. The Bible has messages about the hope of heaven. And besides, People want to believe there is one. Another demon said, Well then, let's tell them there's no hell. The devil said, That's no good. Jesus spoke more about hell than heaven. Besides, people at least know that they're wrong will have to have some kind of consequences anyway. A third demon said, then I know the answer. We'll just tell them there's no hurry to decide. That's the one that Satan chose. If you're a child of God, the best use of time is to spend it on something that will outlast it. It's a tough concept to grasp. But you and I, as ch children of God, are going to outlive time. One day, eternity will begin, and time as we know it will be no more. Do you know what God's going to say to you when you stand before him? You see, the devil wants you to think you've still got plenty of time to think about it and await. But there's no promise of another day. You need to make that decision today. Come the way God says. Confess your sin. Tell God that you're sorry for your sin. And trust His Son, Jesus Christ. Put your faith in Him and surrender your life to Him. God will forgive you, cleanse you, and adopt you. Here's what God says. Today is the day of salvation. You know what the devil says? Nah, you've got time. Wait. Now stop. And think about that.